Let's run up to the lower Sacramento River. I'm with our guy on in that section of water. I'm with Tim Fox with Mr. Fox Outfitters. How you doing, Tim? Good, Rick. I'm doing really good. That sounds great. So we're in the uh, the thick of it, right? Dog days of summer, uh, nice yes. and hot out there, although there's some moisture out there too. It's kind of interesting. So yeah. what's going on on the lower sack right now? Well, the uh, yesterday I was on the river, the upper portion above Highway 44 opened. So um, it, there was a lot of boats, a lot of people, but uh, the fishing was fantastic. Got a little rain, the temperature stayed cool. The water was nice and cold yesterday. So fishing was excellent. I'm looking forward to going tomorrow. Okay, so um, the big thing was that opening, at least of that section of the river, and like you said, it, it gets pretty crowded up there. Does that kind of continue for a while, or uh, or is it really continue. just the kind of opening day? Yeah, that kind of opening day. It'll it'll be busy for a week or so, uh, and then it'll it'll still be busy just because the fishing's good, but it'll it'll thin out a little bit. Okay, and so what happens to your trips that when you're taking somebody down then um, for your uh, business? Do you um, just kind of start up there uh, at that section and sort of just start farther up or do you change the way you, you're- uh... Yeah, no, normally I like to do a really long drift um, and space my pl space myself out. But um, like yesterday, the flows are normally higher and so you're moving along quicker with the flows being low because of the drought. Um, you're working the water. So I'm just doing a short top section now and it takes all day. So a lot a lot of other guys will do Posse Grounds to Bonneview twice. Uh, they'll just do a double shuttle and um, that's great. Um, but I'll do the whole thing in one full day, eight, nine hours on the water. Okay, so but the and so the idea is, is you're kind of a little bit slower hitting more pockets and certain yeah. targeting rather yes. than just because it's worth it a back row all back row runs you're getting you know two three hookups per pass and so it takes a long time to get down just to bonneview where normally i'd be going all the way to anderson okay but a lot of fun along the way it sounds like it so yeah um yeah. how are the flows um we've you know as we've talked over time you know that it's been rather low although kind of hanging in there where what are we looking at right now and, well, and, and also in terms of historically yeah, uh, right now the flows, they were at 4,500 and they raised them to 4,600. So just 100 CFS, no big deal. But the flows are still cold. Traditionally, flows in August are about 10, 9, 10,000 CFS. Uh, and they usually drop at the seven or 8,000 around Labor Day. Uh, but we'll see what they do this year. It's 45, though. who knows when they'll drop at the to 35. So. Yeah, it sounds like it's been very, cons uh, I mean, low, but consistent around consistent. the- Consistent. Yeah, yeah mid that's good. Good for, for us guides. Things stay consistent and predictable, and it's good for the fish. And there's some, there is some accessibility then walking weight as well because yes. of those flows. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. There's a lot of guys waiting and there's a ton, ton more access with the flows being low. Okay, and how about temperature? What are you seeing right now? And then again, um, how the trend is going? Yeah, no, it's still like yesterday with the cloud cover in the afternoon, uh, the water by feel, I stick my hand in the water when I'm releasing hundreds of fish, but uh, <laughs> it is still ice cold. But uh, I haven't looked at the gauge. Uh, usually it, it's been under 60 downstream farther, uh, according to the temperature gauge. So that's okay. excellent. And I by feel yesterday, it's still cold. So okay. we're 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 in August. So I hope that continues. Now, give me a one quick uh, just to kind of wrap it up here. Um, sort of techniques. I've been the, the, there's been some very unsettled weather here. You know, California with uh, sort of monsoonal and moisture and humidity and all that kind of stuff. Does that change any tactics of what you're doing and how things you know, hatches, all kinds of things? What yeah. do you do? Yeah, it, it, you know, the hatches have been consistently caddis and a few PMDs but it hasn't ch it changes the way where the fish sit and and where they feed and the time of day so that cloud cover yesterday the fish moved into shallow water nosed up right in the riffles so they're doing that to feed and they're doing it to get away from other people that maybe overlook really shallow water oh interesting okay so that so it's uh less about the temperature more that cloud cover is kind of yes. what you're looking at yes Okay, and then um, in terms of your tactics, so it's it's 
you're using same same indicator flies yeah. and everything but you're where you're fishing them yes. is kind of a little different exactly okay yeah. well, i mean they're still in the drop-offs and, and and some in the deep runs but most of them are in shallow fast water shallow fast water okay really yeah. interesting how about when it's actually raining tim uh same thing yeah okay same thing. we got rained on yesterday felt good but uh the fish it's cloud cover or rain yeah Okay, so interesting, really good stuff. I appreciate that. So that sounds like some good advice there in whether you're walking weight or you're on on a boat drift, but whatever. So targeting at shallow, fast water, especially when we have these cloudy days that uh, fortunately we're getting some right now, right? A little yes, bit of rain. Exactly. So um, Tim, real quick, can you give us an idea how to get a contact with you? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can reach me at uh, on my cell business number at 530-949-0238 or on my website, mrfoxoutfitters.com. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, Tim. Appreciate the report. That was Tim Fox. He's with Mr. Fox Outfitters. So we've got some different stuff going on here in, the, in that dog days of summer, kind of thinking, you know, hot and heat and the whole thing. But we've got a little bit of moisture here. So it's uh, good advice on where and how to how to target and your strategy and that kind of thing. But everything then can change, you know, a week yes. from now, we'll see what happens. That's right. Uh, and, yeah, and if you want uh, want a, a professional, somebody that knows what they're doing, can put you on some to some fish, as he says, hundreds in a day. Might be a bit of an exaggeration, just yeah, slightly. They're all fifty pounds too. <laughs> and they're all fifty pound fish. Okay, so we're <laughs> so we're there. You know, I mean, it, we are are all fishermen, so you know, there's a bit of an exaggeration there. But uh, but somebody does know the the area. We've got different section now opening up just recently on that um, upper section of the lower sack. So. Give Tim a call. Let us know. We'll put you in touch with him as well. So like I said, he's our guy on the lower Sacramento River. And we appreciate his report. And we'll see you right here next time on the back end.